Okay, good morning. Um, I had some scrap pieces of oak in the workshop and um, decided to copy this table. Um, but I need one that's only only that much square. All right. So I've got some 45 by 45. This finishes 40 with my digital vernier gauge. Only cheap, but it's quite handy. Um, so I'm going to rip it down to 40. Um, just so that it keeps the stock looking the same. Um, I'm also going to replicate, so there you go, there's a piece of it, there's a leftover piece. And then I'm also going to, if you can see that, I'm going to copy the splay as well, the little splay detail on there, just going to copy that. Alright. Um, I've got some other timber that's 25mm thick. It's 25 mil thick, and I'm going to use um, the little dominoes in there. So those of you who don't don't know what a domino is, it's a bit like a biscuit. Yeah, but that's a domino. That's a six mil one. I may be able to go up to eight mil. They go in like a loose tenon. They just go in like a loose tenon. All right. Yeah, see six mil. Little bit concerned. I'm not. I'm not very experienced with the domino. So uh, a little bit concerned about going into the end grain with it, um, but I've borrowed one from work. Um, I'm going to show you it later. Um, and also what I've decided to do is keep these legs flush. So I've actually made the frame up. Um, so there's the frame that I made. Let's bring you in a bit closer. There you go. All right. So that's the frame that I made earlier. And there's the little, there's a little detail on the leg to match, and then you can see I've just brought the, I brought the rail in flush. First time with a domino, I was a little bit, you know, worried that I'd confuse myself, especially on something so small. And you see, I've replicated little V groove where the shoulder meets the leg. I think it's a modern manufacturing um, detail where they, they know they don't have to be too special about shoulders. Then it, it just hides the fact that the shoulders. Um, maybe not flush. So you can see, same height. I've got some top that I'm gonna to cut down as well. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go next door and on the next, next video, I'll show you some basic parts of the domino, which I thought you might, feel it, you might be interested in. As I say, it's only the second time I've used one and I borrowed it from work, but 750 quid's quite a lot of money um, if it's something you're not gonna use. And then you have to buy a box of cutters uh, and a box of dominoes. That's another couple of hundred quid. And then the little accessories. Uh, again, I'll show you the accessories. Um, I must admit, having used it the second time, I'm a little bit more au okay fait with it, a little bit more impressed with it. And the fact that you can do something like this so quick with a loose tenon is, is incredible, really. Um, traditionally, you would have a mortise and, a mortise and tenon in there and they'd be mitered in the corners. Yeah, there are other forms of decorative joint that people use. But I just wanted a, a quick occasional table that we can use to put drinks on. Don't ask me what it is when it's not a table. It's occasionally a table, but what is it when it isn't a table? I don't know. Anyway, till the next video.